Good morning, Morai Barabotai, Baruchim Abayim. We are continuing on Masechet Makot, and we are at the bottom of the Chaf, Amud Aleph, the very last line. Today's Amud is being learned as a schut for Rufa Shalma, Rachel Simcha Bad Nahid, Shlafud Rufa Shalma, Recovery, Bezat Hashem. Amen. Um, this week's learnings of the community has been graciously dedicated by the Kohen family, by Dayan family, by Shei family, should be an ultimate schut be'ezrat Hashem for all of them. Amen. Amen. So we started the last segment of Masechet Makot discussing various laws that are very much um, practically relevant to the lives of people who get haircuts, shave, um, and, and some of the laws of mourning. Our Mishnah enumerated different items that the person um, it's not odd to do, and if you do it, you get malkud. One of them was a person that in anguish of a death of a friend or a family member, someone beloved to him, he pulls out their hair to the degree that now they have bald spots in, in their, their hair. And that's a koreach, kor chaberosho, makif pe'at se'aror, pe'at rosho, that is flattening getting a very hair, short, short haircut on the sides of the head. That's pe'at arosh, and then pe'at azakan, which the, um, the Mishnah mentioned, the five different areas of your beard, that if you shave it, that means with razor, you would be also uh, liable for, for malkut, which we mentioned the sub subtotal of the basic rishonim that speak about these five, where they are, would be um, nine different areas in in, in the in, in the path zakan. You'll have the two sides um, where the jaw uh, meets the the the, um, the scalp. You have also the the bottom two ends of the jaw. You have these two, and you have um, the middle. And according to Rabenu Haranel, you have the the two sides of safam of of a mustache area as well. So. Be that as it may, five of those is the Isur de Oraita that you cannot do. Those are the, the discussions we had, the Gemara went on to say, from the comparison of two places in the Torah that speaks about the prohibition against Korchav of creating bald spots in a person's hair, that every single one that you do is a problem. So therefore, if you do five Korchas on one dead person, you're viable for five different lavim of the Torah. And um, even a non-Kohen, even though that parashat Emor speaks about Kohanim, it doesn't have to be only a prohibition for Kohanim. Even a regular Israel is uh, included in that Isur as well. Ve'chayav al harosh ke'benayinayim. And it's not just the middle part of the hair when it says benenechem lamet but it is the entirety of the hair on, on your head that is included, says the Gemara, um, and only for anguish caused by a death of a family member or friend, but anguish caused by other things that would make you pull your hair out, that would not necessarily be part of this issue. So this is where we left off. Now the Gemara is going to ask, Hani dalet vehe krichot hechidami. How do you get five sets of malkut on pulling out of your head? What happened exactly? Um, did you get one set of, uh, one not set of, uh, uh, one hatra? Did you get one warning? Or did you get five different warnings? So says the Gemara, Ilema baze acharze, obe chamesh hatraot pshita. If you are talking about a person that is in pain and is about to pull his hair out and he said, don't pull your hair out, you're going to be a chayav. And he does it anyways. And then you tell him again, he said, don't do it, you're going to get, and he does it, you give him five different hatraot and he does it five times after every hatraah and you want to tell me that he is chayav five, pashut. What's the question? Why wouldn't he be? Every one of them is a different isur. So why would he not be chayav five different, if you gave him five different hatraot in five different times, 
Pshita, of course, is going to be Chaya five Malkuyot. So that can't be the case, says the Gemara. Ela, Chafa would be the top of the line. Ela bechada hatra. So must be the case is that you gave one hatra and then he went on to, to do five different acts of pulling out his hair and he gets five malkuts. That means in the beginning of the morning he told him hey, don't do it and during the course of the day he did this five times then he will get five malkuts. One says that's impossible because we have precedent for this. There is a very well-known Mishnah in Shas, mentioned a num number of places in, we're going to have it actually in Chafalif and Mudalif, upcoming this Mishnah, we mainly me mentioned Masechet Kiddushin, towards the end of Masechet Kiddushin, a Mishnah about a fellow who is a Nazir, someone that is trying to abstain from, from wine, he has made a neder nazir l'ashem, l'ashem, la he has made a neder to be a nazir, which has to stand, stay away from wine and all the derivatives of, of wine and grapes, says the Mishnah, what happens if you give him hatra? This nazir is not supposed to be drinking wine, of course. You give him hatra and then he goes and he drinks and he drinks and he drinks number of times during the course of the day. Do you get one Malkut or do you get number of Malkuts because he drank number of different times during the day? So says the Mishnah, again, in Masachet Kiddushin, Davayin Zayin, this is mentioned many other places in Masachet Nazir, in our own Masachet Makot upcoming. We had to we learned in the Mishnah, Nazir Shaya Shoteyayin, Korayom. You have a fellow Nazir that is drinking wine the entire day, right? Every few minutes, he gets, he picks up a cup, he fills up, he drinks. How many malkuts does he get? And the Mishnah says only one. Ain't no loke in a chayav in achat. He's chayav only one for all the wines that he drank. Even though that every time that he drinks is a different isur, he's not getting the same isur. So says the Gemara. But if you have a scenario in which every time he wants to drink, someone says, don't drink, you're going to get Malkut. And then he drinks it anyways. So then, on every hatra'a and drinking, he gets a separate set of Malkut. So you see from the Mishnah in Nazir, everything you need to know about Korcha. If you give him hatra'a every time and he pulls out his hair, of course, on every hatra'a and pulling out the hair, he gets a separate Isur. But if you gave him only one atra'a and he now goes on to pull out his hair a number of times during the day, it's only one, is one chiyuv, a malkut. So we are stuck again. We're back to square one. What is the case that it's not pashut, that the Mishnah is coming to teach me that you could become hayav with one atra'a five different times of pulling out the hair? So says the, the, the Gemara, you know what the Chidush is? He's coming to teach you a Chidush that we would not have known otherwise. And that is, Lo slicha desach chamesh etzbeotav nesha. The reason this five, because you only have got five, five etzbeot, you put some, um, you know, hair removing cream on your five fingers, right? And you're putting it on, on, on your hair, and it's going to pull out everything there. Like, you know, five different bald spots you're going to create like that. And it says the Gemara, the person gets one hatra'a. It's a hatra'a about everything he's going to do, but at that time. So whereas if I get one hatra'a and I do it five times during the day, I have only one, because I did separate Isurim, I didn't get a hatra'a for the second time I did it. I didn't. I only got four. But here, the first time is five different actions. The Gemara finds for us a scenario in which you're doing five actions simultaneously, and you got a hatra'a immediately before your action. So if your action has five parts to it, but you're doing all of them, simultaneously, and you got the hatra right before, that's five actions. 
פייב איסורים ואת פייב חיובים אב מלכות או תגדר. אז עושה אז נגמרה ועוד תבינו בבת אחת you put your fingers and you're about to pull the air and you get a התראה הב יעלה התראה לכל אחד אבחד. That התראה, that warning is a warning for every single one of those five places that you're going to בבת אחת simultaneously pull out therefore you are viable for five מלכויות. Fine. Says the Gemara. וכמה שיעור כורך? You're talking about bold spots. What is a bold spot, right? Every person you ask him is a different, different thing. Well, it has to be a halachic shiur for it. Is it something that I can see from half a mile away? Or is it something that I have to put, put, put the microscope and look? How many hairs do you have to pull out to be a bald spot? So says the Gemara, not so simple. Rav Huna Omer, Kedesh Shira Emirosho. It has to be enough that you can see it. An onlooker could see a bald spot. Now, this is very interesting because within the, the Rishonim, there are two uh, completely opposing um, understandings of this, whether this is more um, stringent than the next Shita or less. What does it depend on? Well, if I'm sitting here and you're sitting at the end of the table and I see a bald spot, that is a very large spot that I could spot from here. But if I'm going into your hair and looking, and I find a bald spot, which is like a tiny thing, and I would not be able to see it when I'm conversing with you from here, so then it's a, a much bigger humrah than the next shita in the Gemara. Because as long as it could be seen, as long as you could be saying that hair has been pulled out of this area, even if I pay attention close up to your scalp, it will be consider the bald spot. So th this sentence in the Gemara is subject to a spectrum from mikatze la katze, the two ends of the spectrum of um, how, how, how exactly to understand this would mean either a very big humra or a very big kula, says the Gemara. The second shita is Rabbi Yochanan. Rabbi Yochanan omer mishum Rabbi Elazar be Rabbi Shimon. From Rabbi Azar, Esar, Rabbi Shimon, Bar Yochai. Kegris, it has to be a large uh, size of a bean, right? We have this in Masechet Negaim. You have to be a little bit familiar with, with the terminologies in, um, in Masechet Negaim. Kegris is the area of 36 hairs, like six rows of six hairs each, square. So that's a, that's a large area. That's a large area, and that is the bold spot that Chazal is talking about, says Rabbi Yochanan. Fine. Now, Gemara says, Ketanai, this is actually not just machloket between um, Rabbi Yochanan and Rav Huna, which are two gedolei ha'amoraim, but this is way before Amoraim. This is a machloket tanaim. Says the Gemara, Kama shiur korcha. What is... The amount of hair that you have to pull out to be shiur of korcha. And the Brita says, kegaris. The shiur is, this that we just discussed, the 36 hair, the, the mishtai negaim, the large spot of kegaris. Acherim omrim. Others say, kedeshe ra'e merosho. Enough that it will be seen by others on your head that you have a bald spot. If I could spot it, then you got the problem. But it doesn't end there. Says the Gemara, Amar Rav Yehuda Bar Chaviva, Rav Yehuda Bar Chaviva says, Pligi batelot atanai. You think it's only two shitas, because we've had two shitas so far. He says, no, there are actually three shitas. We'll soon see that there are actually four shitas. Says the, the Gemara, this is a machlok, a three-way machlok etanaim. One is what we just saw, um, Kegris. The other one, Chadomer Kedeshira Emeroshon. It's the second one that you have to be able to see on his head, a bald spot. The Chadomer, the third Shita is Kishtes Arot. Two hairs. You pull out two hairs and you are in deep trouble. Two hairs is what it takes. 
the ikat the mafik shtesarot there are those who take out shtesarot and they say no 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 it's not two hairs like mamash two hairs but ma'ayel kebaadasha bekaadasha and they replace it with a mount of a lentil small lentil now lentil is also two hairs on two hairs right it's two rows of two hairs each but as we had six rows of six, this is two hairs. It's much smaller than those large bean that we call um, the grease. So this is kadasha, which is four hairs. Says the Gemara. Besimanech, if you want to remember what you take out, what you put back in, you have to know, really, Masech Negaim is harder to remember it with the Siman if you don't know Masech Negaim. Says the Gemara, Baheret Kegris, Umichiak Bekadasha. Fine. Tana, we learned, Hanotel Melo Piazuk. We speak by Chot Shabbat and pulling hair on Shabbat or, or, or snipping hair on Shabbat also is a Isur Deoraita. We have a surah of Gozes. So the one is going to attempt to understand our sugya from Hilchot Shabbat that we already know. So says the Gemara, we learned in the Chot Shabbat, Hanotel Melo Piazug, if you have scissors and you take off enough hair that fills the very tip of the 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 blades of scissor. No, I'm mean, not talking about the scissors that's open. You could put a thousand hair inside. We're talking about it's close, 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 and the the smallest amount that you could fit in to the tip of of a scissors is what we're talking about over here. Says Gemara, if you do that on Shabbat, Hayav. That's the amount of hair that you you need to be Hayav. The Kama Melo Piazuk. How many hairs is that? I mean, I could imagine a very large scissors. I could imagine a small one. Depends. Says the Maram, I'm going to be the time. Talking about two hairs. Two hairs and you're Hayav. Well, the Maram says, wait a second. So the Maram wants to say from here, two is the shear. We had four different shear in, in our, our bright up. Here, by Shabbat, is two hairs. But then the Maram says, wait a second. The Atania, you can't say that Melo Piazug, the amount that it fits at the tip of a scissors is two, because the same writer continues and says, for Korcha, for our sugya, of pulling air out in anguish, that also is two. So it can't be that Melo Piazug is two, and this is two. The Atania Le Korcha Shtayim, for making bald spots, is. Two hairs. So imagine if the same brighter says the shear for Shabbat is Melopia Zug. And the shear for making a bald spot is two hairs. If you read that, what would you say? That Melopia Zug is not two hairs. Because otherwise you say it to me like that. It seems to be representing two separate, a different shiurim. So says the Gemara, no, enachinami. You should you should be saying it exactly like that. Emma says the Gemara, vechel lekor chashtaim. It should say it like that. That for Shabbat is melopia zug, which is two in parentheses, and same halacha applies to making a bald spot that would be also with two. So now the Gemara has a proof for two. It becomes a problem, right? Pulling out two hairs, it's an issue. Fine. So says the Gemara. We're gonna get back to this when we speak about. Peot Arosh, because there's a whole question, if you say that Peot Arosh, um, you can't pull out two of them, if this is the Shi'ur, then how can you comb your hair or your Peot altogether, right? Because you have to understand, if it's bald spots that are large, that's one thing. But if you're talking about two hairs, so then two hairs, uh, you know, when you know, here is is in anguish, you're upset, it's a different story. But for Peo Darosh, there's nothing to do with being in pain. You can't do the Isur. So if the Isur will be two hairs, flattening two hairs, how about pulling out two hairs of my Peot 
especially those who have long peot and they want to comb their, their peot, that becomes a question. We're going to discuss that as we get to the Gemara. So says the Gemara, Taninami Hachim, you also learned in a brighter, explicitly like that. Hanotel melopi hasug. A person on Shabbat that cuts melopi hasug. Right? Em- enough to fill in to the tip tip of scissors. On Shabbat, chayav. On Shabbat, you become chayav for that much, taking that much hair off. The kama says the brighter explicitly. How much is that? Melopi hasug. Shtaim. It's two hairs. Rabbi Eliezer Omer Achat. Rabbi Eliezer says, no, only even one hair, you're, you're liable. Even one hair. I says, one hair? What's one hair? Modim Chachamim, says the Gemara of Rabbi Eliezer. Chachamim agree with Rabbi Eliezer in a very specific case that on Shabbat you would be chayav even for one hair. And that is, oh, by the way, this is, this is halacha as well. You know, a person that get, takes two hairs off on Shabbat, you're chayav, you know, on the right level, if you did it with a vessel that is muhat for this, if you uh, got tweezers and, and, and I took two hair out, you're chayav, because it is. Or with scissors, chayav. If you take it with hand, if you pull out some